Hi hey guys, back with another PK4 video. And in this video, I'm going to cover how to uninstall a beta software and go back to the original pre-installed version. So in this case, Pico Connect streaming software has been leaked. It's a beta that's been leaked. Um, I can't stop anyone trying to find that and download it, but what you're going to find is that's then going to update the stream assistant that was built into the headset and you won't be able to go back. So I'm going to cover a quick tip how you can actually get that back to a stream assistant. Um, if you were doing that already, you presumably already backed up your stream assistant APK. If you didn't, you're going to have to find that. So what I'm going to show is basically if I go into my APKs that I've got saved on the headset, I, I know I've already got Pico Connect installed. If I want to go back to stream assistant, it won't let me install it. Um, so there's a nice quick and easy fix for this. I mean, if you're clued up enough to be doing this already, I would presume you already have the Android system settings APK or better yet, even Total Commander. So these are both going to get you to the same place. I'll use Total Commander because even if you don't have this, that is a, a nice and easy thing to do with a raw store or F-Droid or whatever you want to use to get Android APKs. So I'm going to open Total Commander. Uh, I'm going to go into Installed Apps and just go down to Pika Connects. And it's going to take me to the Android system settings for the application. So that is going to be exactly the same window that you would use if you did have a system settings APK. But you can just click on to app and notifications, go to see all apps, and then go down to Pico Connect. So I can click onto this. And what I'd like to do is just click for stop, go to the storage and cache, clear the storage. I'm going to click B on the controller to go back in this window. And then the top right, it's got the three dots. I'm going to click that and uninstall updates. So what's going to now let me um, allow me to do is reinstall the Stream Assistant APK. So this is what was originally on the headset. I've obviously made the backup and it's allowed me to install it and now use it again. So like I said, I can't stop anyone trying to use a beta software, but in all honesty, I would just wait. So again, if you do find yourself in that situation, you've tried the beta and you want to go back to Stream Assistant, that is one quick tip how to do that. So, cheers guys. Thanks for watching. Hope it helps.